Hey guys, today's video will be on my modified Lego Atlantis Harpoon Blaster or LAB for short, L-A-H-B and this blaster is essentially a second generation Busby Big Blast uh, in the sense that the trigger is a lever trigger and it's uh, different from the first generation which is one whole solid piece which links to the firing pin and other than that, uh, the paint job is also different it has a red, black, silver and little bit of green and yep, supposed to be modeled for Lego. Yep, but it is still by Bus B Toys, as can be seen over here. Modifications done to this blaster is a Shrin bike pump replacement. I placed it right at the front for easy pumping. Um, it has a PVC Y solvent welded to the front of the tank, and also Dremel the slot out for your hopper clip. I have replaced the overpressure valve from the stock pump and solver welded it into the rear of the tank so now it's uh, joined together to the tank and um, I drilled a hole super glued vinyl tubing out from the tank and is linked to the pump by, uh, by vinyl tubing as well from this slot over here and these two are joined by a removable tubing connector at the back I have solvent welded a PVC end cap you can also use a, a cut down PVC coupler and the good thing I like about this is that it fits into this slot perfectly uh, with no dremeling or any else required, anything else. Um, I drilled a hole through the end cap and this is so that I can uh, still access the screw at the back of the overpressure valve. This is so that I can adjust the pressure rating. So right now, I'm making the overpressure valve pop at 8 pumps. Yep, the hardest part about this modification was actually dremeling the <laughs> slot to fit the pump. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of cutting and dremeling required, but in the end it turned out very nicely. It fits almost perfectly and it's very clean and nice. I'll show you guys what it looks like from here and the side. Alright, and I think I'll do a firing test now. For my firing test, I'll be using a hopper clip. Uh, this hopper clip can take up to 6 darts and it is removable. This is uh, meant for easy transportation. So all you have to do is just uh, slot in your clip. Okay, and I'll be using a foot long PETG barrel. And one more thing I'd like to show you guys about the hopper clip that I'm using is uh, this funnel piece. I got this idea from the Unholy 3. I've been using it for over a year now, but I haven't really shown you guys. And um, I don't really use it in wars because I usually use my uh, AirTech 3000, so there's no need for this. So, anyway, what you do is this is from a, a 1.5 liter bottle. You just cut it down and I had to put a round or two of E-tape at the base so that it fits into the uh, the ball valve snug. Alright, and once it is in place, uh, what this does is helps to funnel your darts in with ease. So um, you can actually reload on the go without looking. You're just placing your dart and it'll just flow right into uh, the hopper clip. So what you do, get grab your six darts, just dunk them all inside. Give it a little shake and uh, after a while all the darts should just flow right through it see so it's really fast and uh, convenient once you're done close your ball valve and i'll be shooting at that super soaker box give it eight pumps per shot all right just gotta uncap the pump Okay. Yep, that's it. Let's check out the damage. Uh, yep. So this is a fresh super soaker box, and it went through all the first side. Uh, so one side, and none through the other side. All right. So that is it. My Lego Atlantis Harpoon Blaster. Good things I like about it uh, is that the pump is now located at the front. Uh, very easy to pump. It has a hopper clip. That means it has a higher rate of fire compared to single shot blasters. Uh, the trigger pull is also very easy compared to the first generation big blasts. And lastly, I can also adjust the pressure rating uh, from the back. Alright, um, bad things I do not like about this blaster is that it does take quite a lot of pumps. Um, 
for it to get a decent amount of pressure like in this case I need to pump it eight times and I feel that that can be quite a lot and actually other than that uh, I think it's just great all around and I recommend uh, getting it and here's what it looks like with the uh, stock at the back I'm using a, a <laughs> really ghetto and makeshift cheap stock so all right think that's about it if you have any questions regarding this or any other part of this blaster feel free to PM me leave comments below Thanks for watching.